the entire government uh, machinery, not just the the office of the president. Mr. Chairman, 11 hearings na po ata tayo. And uh, I, I, I was quoted the other day that I advised the president to continue with this hearing. I, I did that. Uh, I did that because, Mr. President, I still believe, because I still believe in the separation of powers as enshrined in our constitution. And, and Mr. President, I still believe that the separation of powers should be respected, not just by, by the executive, not just by the legislative branch, but even by uh, the judiciary, Mr. President. Mr. President, I, I sincerely believe that the Blue Ribbon Committee is a, is a constitutional uh, progeny, Mr. President. There can be no Blue Ribbon Committee without the Constitution. And I still believe that what we're doing right now, though some would equate this with political mudslinging, politicking, is still anchored in what is based in our constitutional precepts. Mr. President, I have advised the President to continue with the hearings. I have advised him as a friend. But let, let me state this, Mr. President, as a member of your committee, and I have been uh, attent intently listening for the last several uh, days. L let, let this be uh, known to you. Naniniwala po ako na yung bulwaga natin ito ay hindi dapat magpalaganap ng hidwaan sa ating lipunan bagkos dapat po ito ay magsulong ng pag-asa, Mr. President. Alam ko pong may uh, may pag-aaway kayo ni Pangulong Duterte. Subalit dapat po, uh, hindi na po dapat dito sa, sa Blue Ribbon po ito lumaganap. This, this committee should be a committee uh, that should pro promote hope and not despair. This committee should be a committee that would promote unity and not uh, divisiveness, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Naniniwala po ako na ang intensyon po natin ay lumabas yung katotohanan at maglabas ng mga tamang panukalang batas na makaka, makakatulong sa ating lipunan. Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, sana po sa mga darating na panahon, sa mga darating na hearing, bagamat uh, nagkaroon na ngayon ng, ng uh, hindi pag-sipot ng mga cabinet members, eh, mait, maituloy po natin yung dapat gawin. Una, kung meron po nagkasala, dapat pong ma-prosecute. Pangalawa, yung mga batas pong dapat gawin, dapat po maisulong. Nagpanukala na po ako ng pito o walo. And, and Mr. Chairman, again, I reiterate, uh, igalang po natin ang karapatan ng isa, isa. And I will say this again, it, it refers to all, uh, including President Duterte, due process of law demands that those who are not present in this proceeding should not be assailed. And that includes everyone. And, and Mr. Chairman, uulitin ko po, uh, ulitin ko po ito, kahit po ngayon ay political season na, none of us will go forward unless we go forward together and united as Filipinos. I hope uh, the separation of powers would be respected. Ulit ko, igalang din po natin si Presidente Duterte, igalang din po ang Senado, mabuhay po Pilipinas, uh, Mr. Chairman. Maraming salamat po for allowing me to participate.